Hi, this is a quick tutorial of the uh, arc and dual series strobe light. Um, and we wanted to kind of cover these real quick because we get a lot of questions about how to mount these on your aircraft. Um, in this particular case, you'll see that we have an arc light white mounted on the top of this uh, aircraft, in this case, the DJI Inspire. And then we have the dual lights mounted on each boom on each side. Um, the way that we operate is at night, we like to have um, one strobe light mounted on the top of the unit, and then we have a secondary strobe light on the bottom of the unit. Um, the reason why we do this is provides 360 degree lighting coverage, uh, which obviously meets and exceeds what FAA has to say, um, three statute miles. Um, and then in addition to that, um, some pilots will go with just one white on the top, but quite honestly, the white on the bottom, in addition to um, providing an extra margin of safety, is tremendously beneficial to the pilot because as you're flying down range and the aircraft is pitched left and pitched right, um, sometimes depending upon the angle of the aircraft, um, you won't necessarily pick up that white strobe. Um, but that strobe on the bottom, um, looking up, is uh, generally always very easy to pick up. So we recommend one white strobe on the top, one white strobe on the bottom. White because white's going to give you the greatest visibility. Um, as far as colors go, white will travel the furthest as far as light, followed by red, then green, then blue. We do utilize colors on the booms. Um, we do so for two purposes. Sometimes people just like the colors. Um, in our case, uh, we fly for police and fire, so we have red and blue. Um, some people like um, our, um, and like the UAS light kits. will use red and green, aviation colors, marking colors for port and starboard. Um, and again, on a larger aircraft, that kind of works. Um, but again, the colors generally, as far as uh, the FAA requirements go, we try to steer away from them. We use those basically as marker lights and visibility lights. The other thing that we run on this is a front spotlight. Um, this particular light set up for an Inspire 1, um, but it can be used on other aircraft depend just by modifying the uh, mount that you have. This particular one, like all the lights, are self-powered. So no wiring needed here. Um, has its own power source. This one on the back has a rechargeable power pack. It mounts right on the back. You tap the button and you're going to get a really bright white light. Um, they are adjustable. I can adjust them up and down as I need to. Um, as far as spotlights go, from an elevation of about 60 feet, this will light up the ground very well. Um, but we generally use them for daytime markers. Um, during the day, strobe lights aren't as effective as a marking system. Um, but at night, um, obviously, um, they work really well. During the day, though, this fixed white light, um, when you yaw the aircraft around and it faces the pilot, the pilot picks this up immediately. So the pilots really like this for daytime ops as well as nighttime ops. And the fixed white light during the day um, works really well. So there's a couple different lights you can use. You can use this light. We have a UAS light that mounts on the front. The other nice thing is this has modes. You have a strobe mode high, medium, low. So you can dim this thing down, do what you want. Um, they're really well built, aluminum chassis, rechargeable back. We just kind of tuck it back and it works out really well. Um, the last lighting I'll show you is, um, and also lighting on the uh, Mavic. On the Mavic, it's a real mm -hmm. nice space and on a smaller aircraft, um, the dual strobes work out well on a smaller aircraft because you have less landscape. So the duals, a lot of times people buy white duals for the smaller aircraft like the Mavic and the, and the uh, Spark in the air. But in this particular case, um, it does. this does fit well on the back of a Mavic right here on the back quarter. It doesn't get in the way of anything and it really provides good visibility. And then we actually use one on the bottom um, in between the two sensors for a ground light. So if you're lighting up a Mavic, that's one way to do it. Um, lastly, we're just going to show you our spotlight setup. This is a true spotlight setup for nighttime ops where you're going to be lighting up the ground. Um, this is a 3D printed bracket um, that uh, we can print for you. It's, a public, it's publicly available, um, but we do print them up. Uh, we have industrial Velcro on the bottom of them. And then the bottom line is you have just a Streamlight TLR1, um, the HPL lights. Um, these are a little pricey, but um, these things in tandem provide tremendous light. I can show you here. It's going to flicker because of the video. But in series, these mounted on the bottom of the aircraft from about um, 70 to about 90 feet light up the ground really well. So if you were tracking a person, suspect, you were checking an area, um, these make really well um, work 
make very good spotlights for that. They don't rotate, um, they're not going to move around, you're going to have to change the aircraft. But if you focus the camera on this beam of light and then fly, um, they do a real nice job of lighting up the ground. So just a nice 3, 3D printed bracket, again industrial double sided tape and it mounts right to the bottom here of this. Um, we have a strobe down here you'll see but we can remove the strobe, that's why it's on Velcro. These mounts hang on there and off you go. So a variety of different lighting options for UAS. Strobe lights, very important to have at night. Nice to have any time. They are independent source, so if you lose an aircraft and the battery pops out or goes down, generally the strobes continue to work, so they'll help you find a lost aircraft. And lastly, these strobes um, have modes. So the other thing we recommend is if you're flying multiple aircraft, you can have different colors. You can use red or white and place that on the aircraft, but we always try to use white. But in this case, the arc strobes and the dual strobes have modes. So here's the strobe mode, and here's the slow flash, and then they will actually go into just a fixed mode where they're on. So by tapping the button, I can go between modes. So as you can see, if I'm flying multiple aircraft in the air and I want to identify who's who, and I put one on strobe and one on flash, I can tell just by the lighting pattern which aircraft is which aircraft. So uh, another nice feature when you have multiple aircraft in the air, being able to differentiate between who is who. You can do this obviously with colors, um, using a, a white and a red. The red visibility is enough that you can use that at nighttime. There is no color requirement for the FAA standard. It simply states three statute miles visibility. Um, so if you can accomplish that with a red light, God bless you. Um, and uh, red generally, as long as it has enough output, will do it. So that's a quick tutorial um, of our um, ARC and dual series lights, how to mount them. Again, they come with double-sided tape in the package. Um, that's what these are mounted on. Make sure the surface is clean. Clean it off real well. Place your double-sided tape on, um, the air, on the light itself and then peel off the other side and adhere it to a clean surface and they're very steady, they're very solid, and they hold a very low profile. You can use Velcro also. I've seen people do that. It tends to raise the profile, um, but just another option. So, uh, again, hopefully this has been a helpful tutorial video on uh, lighting up your UAS for nighttime operations and search and rescue. Um, if you have any questions or comments uh, or uh, anything to contribute, things that you've tried, please share. That's the way we all learn.